Okay, and my first advice will be proper setup of Substance Painter before you start to work. Uh, and let's open sample. Uh, we're opening sample just before it's pretty easy to do setup on it. And let's open meet method. You can open your mesh, it's not really important. So, uh, we see by default in uh, meet map, Studio Tomoko is used. This is great, it's looking awesome, very nice for us. If we'll open uh, texture set sit, uh, settings, we see that it has base color and telegraph is normal. A lot of substance presets by default do not use ambient occlusion. And I think a lot of you are just every time at, like clicking here, ambient occlusion is used, but you can save it and never click it again. So uh, this setup is good for us. Uh, then if you want to have another like camera settings, uh, let me take this. So I'm, I'm fine with uh, field of view 15. For me, it's good. Sometimes maybe you want to have like it's a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, up to you. Uh, for me, it's completely not important. But what is important is to have activate temporal interleasing and to have proper color, uh, color, so tone map and aces. Uh, this is especially important if you want to have the look close to Unreal as much as possible. I have done some tests visual and it's it can be very close. Uh, by default, I'm not using shadows because, in my opinion, it's changing image too much. So I'm working like this. And the last thing which we want to change is go to our shader and has specular quality medium or high. M medium already good, but if you will not do it, it will be pretty visible uh, difference. So yeah, be be careful regarding this one. It, it's better to have your ambient occlusion lower because uh, ambient occlusion which you are doing in Substance Painter is not be used in Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine using distance field in most cases, not every time. It's possible workarounds, uh, but mostly in a lot of cases, it will not, at least it will not affect the visual like in Substance Painter. So maybe you want to have it lower, just not to lie yourself. I'm using it like almost default, I understand what's happening. Uh, bent normals we do not want to have. Uh, bent normals are cool. Uh, so you see it's, it's changing pretty a lot, uh, especially if you're baking them properly. But for example, in most cases, you're not using them. So it's, it's up to your pipeline because we're doing preset right now. So for example, in most of my pipelines, I'm not using bent normals. So it's better not to have it, again, not to disturb my picture too much. And I do not need subsurface, and I do not need displacement, so you can turn it off, and that's all. So let's check again. I think we updated most of the stuff. This name not really important. So our picture by lighting have natural lighting has proper setup, and now you want to go and more safe options, save as a template. So and I will call this template. Unreal. So now I have my Unreal template, and when I will create new, you see here now you have template Unreal, which is in folder your assets. Why in folder your assets? Because you can, and I recommend to do it. Uh, let's close it map. I recommend to create your own uh, folder. For example, I'm using a lot of my uh, assets in folder i substance substance uh, with name your assets so you can write name of your library here for example like studio library if you are using library studio and then you can has a path for example like documents and you can add so now you'll have it uh, the main issue for me my c drive every time busy with a lot of stuff so I created my main library and you see by default you see it's default uh, your assets one in i substance. Uh, if you have studio on net drive, you also can work this way and use this preset for everyone. So it's very good to control the same smart materials, mask, and inner development tools. So you can do this. Uh, and my preset saved in the same. So when we're doing new, you see we're using our template Unreal. And let's open uh, Megascan asset, for example, this one. 
uh, we're not interested in this one. We're not doing after unwrap or anything like that. So you see now this mesh by default has no displacement, nothing like that. It's using aces, it's using uh, temporal anti-aliasing, it's using proper camera, Studio Tomoko. So all the settings which we saved are saved properly and you do not need to click and activate uh, your texture set settings all the time. So you see all the channels are working and they have proper setup. Uh, okay, now we want to do expert preset. And I also change an expert preset all the time. So uh, I have my own texture presets, which I'm doing all the times. So how I'm doing this? Uh, I have this Unreal RAM next gen and mask. So you see they already have some kind of special approach. So uh, by default, you have uh, for Unreal this preset. You see uh, mesh, texture set, base color, occlusion roughness with that, and they're fine. They're fine, but I have my own way to improve them. So I'm creating duplicate. Let's call it Unreal Engine 5. So for Unreal Engine 5, uh, usually what I'm doing, I do not need name of the mesh because I'm trying to save my materials. Uh, name of my materials will be texture sets. Uh, so I do not need name of the mesh in most cases. So I'm just removing this and writing T because by standard in Unreal for textures, you're using T before texture and this simplified life a lot. So we have T, 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 T. I do not like this long name occlusion roughness metallics. So we will just change it to A, R, M. So ambient occlusion, roughness, metallic. I also do not like long names like base color. I prefer uh, B, C and N, but this is completely my personal preferences. You do not need to follow it. But yeah, that's just how I do it. Okay, so we already updated a lot, but also we want to improve this expert preset even more. So we want to add uh, a displacement height in a separate channel. So we can add uh, gray. I'm calling it underscore hush, h, sorry. Uh, and I will move height here. So now uh, during our work, we will not only uh, export base color and better proof roughness, normal, emissive, uh, we also will export height. And last step is changing uh, PNG to TJ. Uh, the reason to do it, it's pretty high chance to do some mistakes when you're working with PNG in Unreal. Uh, it's very often PNG becoming 16-bit. Uh, Unreal is reading it this way. It's messing with colors. Uh, and in a lot of studio, your default preset is TGA. And there are reasons for that. So I recommend to change this for uh, TGA. So great. Uh, what we can do? So now we go here and we can change this to based on output template and now we have this our Unreal Engine 5 preset. Uh, no padding for example and let's export tutorial texture preset. So boom 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 export and we exported T underscore default material ambient occlusion roughness metallic. Okay so uh, let's change the name. Default material definitely not what we want. Uh, so uh, let's name it like pipe. I didn't know how to call it. So our material called pipe, mesh, not important. Uh, and let's add any kind of textures here. So I assigned uh, Megascans textures very fast. And now we can uh, file, export textures. <clears throat> and we exported our textures in the folder. Let me show you, uh, open output directory. And this is our texture.